Hello and welcome all. Continuing on my series of question, interview question and answers on Microsoft.NET Developer. This time I thought on the recommendation of some of my subscribers that why not I should develop some interview questions that are at a senior level or advanced level or tricky C sharp questions. So I, this is my humble offering as part one. This is just five questions to start with. So if you really like, please put your comments and subscribe to this channel and put your valuable uh, inputs back to me so that I can incorporate, learn from them. Thank you. So the first question here is why the code on the right hand side will end in compile error? Why you think the following code will end in compile error? So this is a program class. I have written a static in void main which tries out something and it passes, it calls the right method and gives the um, output variable of type integer. So this will end up in a compile error because it will not compile as we are trying to use the unassigned out variable in the right method at line 19. Okay. So once you are calling a method and you are passing argument as output parameters, you need to initialize it in the called method. However, this is being used in the calling program that is the main method. So it needs to be output variable needs to be assigned in the called method and not from the calling method as is the case here at line 13. So here at line 13, if you compile, if you try to compile this application, it will come up with assignment in calling method is unnecessary. Okay. And here it will come use of unassigned variable y. So the next is why do you override equals method of systems dot object? So the default implementation of equals method in the object class is like such. It has got a public virtual boolean, which it turns a boolean equals method. It takes an object. Now we need to override this base implement. This is just the base implementation of the equals method with the object class. We need to override this base implementation to implement our own customized version. Since the base implementation only checks if the object references point to the same memory location and then they have the same values and returns to. This is not very useful. So the following is our implementation. In this, I am implementing a customer class, which is, which extends the object class and I am declaring a public property name and overriding the equals method from the object class. And I'm in this customized override equals method. Look at this question. Uh, look at this snippet of code. If P not equal to null, this customer object and also string, if this string is not is null or is not null or white space. So if person dot name, if the name property of the person object is or the customer object rather is not in null or a empty space, then you implement it like this console dot write line value returning from the equals method and it is string interpolation dollar sign. So this customer object p dot name dot equals to this dot name and it returns this dot equals this dot name. So if it is, if this two, the name property of both these um, um, object instances are equal, then it will return to else it will return false. Now, how do we test it? We test the method to the driver main method as in the next slide. So I'm calling two customer instances, customer and customer one and initializing one with John and another with Jack. And then I am checking for equality. Okay. And it comes up with an output value returning from equals method is false because these two objects, the name properties are not the same. And 
um, this is also false like if you look into the last slide so from here I am returning the value returning from equals method so that is false and then go back here this the the output of customer dot equals is also false okay so the next question is how can you create a thread safe singleton class without using lock the best way to create a thread safe singleton class without using a lock is to have a static field the field will contain the instance of the singleton class since the field is static the instance will be created by the common language CLR or common language runtime which takes care of the threading scenario so this is this static read only uh, instance of singleton is a new singleton and this is a private constructor which writes console.write line instance is created and then this public property which is of static type static access modifier it, it returns the singleton get return the singleton so since the field is static this field is static the instance will again be created by the CLR which takes care of the threading scenarios so we don't need to bother about taking I mean putting some locks in to make it safe thread safe okay right so the fourth question is given an array of integers write a c-sharp method to find sum of all the odd numbers so this is the integer array of marks and it, has it contains a mixture of even and odd numbers odd marks there are 10 numbers now there are of course many ways to do this however two of the elegant one line executions are one through the lambda expression the top one and this is through the link okay so that key and both will of course come up with the same result and if you compute the all the odd numbers if you sum up all the odd numbers like 79 plus 85 plus um, 6 plus 11 plus 91 plus 99 and others are even numbers so it will sum of all the odd numbers will come up to be 365 exactly with both of these methods now the key things an interviewer they look in the answers is that can the interviewer does the interview take advantage of the C sharp language constructs that make a one liner possible one line solution possible in contrast to a much lengthier solution which contains a lengthier uh, I mean number of loops conditional statements and accumulator and also does the candidate consider the possibility of overflow and implementation such as the first one above may end up in an overflow this one it may or may not but it might as well so by converting integer to a long over here casting it to a long before you know summing it up although it will not completely eliminate the possibility it will highly reduce the chances of an overflow error to occur it will also suggest that the candidate is considering the about the expected size of the array and the magnitude of its members which is part of what the interviewer may look to ascertain last question what is the output of the code snippet on the right hand side so on the right hand side i have got a snippet of code with two static string uh, uh, sorry one is stat string type play uh, string of st type string and known as plays another is static read only date time uh, which is the variable is time returns date time and what is the expected output now here output will be the place is null and the second line will output this value why the variables place and time are declared but not assigned you can see they are not assigned so they will take their default values this is the their for a string this is the null value and for a date time its default value is 111 and that is the midnight of 1 AD and it's not null so today we have learnt some advanced questions we have analyzed how the interviewer can give you some tricky C sharp question 
to see your uh, caliber to think out of the box quickly and your knowledge of course so thank you